Welcome to another episode of Emacs Goodies in which today I'll be talking about ProSet which is a built-in function in Emacs that is pretty handy and I'm Gopar by the way. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me jump into my configuration, use package and then ProSet. I believe that's how you say it. So I have the configuration right here but and I, as you can see I have some stuff commented out. I use package for configuring stuff. If you don't use it you I'd recommend checking it out. It's pretty handy. But anyways, let's go ahead and run ProSet. I'll enable these custom functions in a bit. I just want to show how it looks bare bones. Uh, ProSet. And if you can see here, it's if you're on Windows, this would be like a equivalent of a task manager, I believe. And if you're on Win and Mac, it this is the acti this is the equivalent of the activity monitor. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty bland, but it shows the information exactly what you want. It shows user, PID, start, time, and then the system process, what's it calling, what any arguments that was passed by that was passed with it. So before we actually do anything more, I'm gonna do something which is just add two more variables to tweak it to make it look nice. And I am going to do this. Uh, I'm just gonna enable these two. I'll enable the last one at the end to just to show a little configuration, an extra configuration. But yes, I have enabling color and enable tree. I'll explain what those do in a bit. So I'm gonna evaluate it and then I'm gonna call it again. And look at that. There is some syntax. Well, I guess not syntax, but there's some coloring. And we also have this new column called tree. So tree is pretty much shows any child processes that are spawned. So for example, for Filmora, which is what I'm using to record, both of these are spawned from Filmora. So screen recording, which is which is what I'm using right now to record this video. But yes, this is pretty much it, which is pretty nice. This shows you which which processes are child and which one's the parent. And it just keeps nesting more and more until, yeah, it's essentially a tree and this color works so that's pretty awesome pretty simple now let's go ahead into some of the cool stuff that you can do so you can obviously mark some processes to do some type of operation for example i'm going to mark all the spotify ones just so i'm just going to press m m m m and i believe that does it so uh, yes so i refreshed and i'm going to actually modify this one as well so i don't know if you can see but right here i have spotify open and if I actually press K, it's gonna say, hey, you wanna send a command, which command is it? I can do the kill command, or I can send anything else of these. But for right now, I'm gonna send kill to just close out Spotify. So I'm gonna press kill. And then it says, send signal to five processes. And it doesn't, it takes a few seconds to auto update, but you can manually make it update if you just press G. So if I press G and then I look for Spotify, it's gone and if you can see the Spotify over here is gone as well so it's essentially killed it so this is another an equivalent of your task manager or activity monitor depending on where you are I do believe that this will not work on Windows it only works on Unix systems so if you're on Windows I'm sorry you can't test this out if you're on Unix try it out if you want to replace it if you want to replace your whatever activity monitor you're using whatever tool you're using this to manage your processes go ahead and check it out see if it's actually worth uh, see if you like it actually but of course this is not all that it can do uh, there's some built-in mouse support for example we can sort uh, this by the start so let's go ahead and click Oop. let's go ahead and start so there you go July 8, 28 so all of these started today uh, well in July 28 and have not stopped but yes uh, we can also the ID sort so as you can see there's built-in support for mouse and of course we can do other stuff for example if I press F I can filter via 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 something that Emacs called schemes so just all of these you can see so I can filter by whatever's running it from Emacs which is just itself or user or I can just do all and it'll even show, uh, for example, right now these are just what um, process under mine. But if I do all, it will, should also show root. Yeah, you see, so there's a lot of other stuff right here. So let's just keep it to user because I don't want to mess with anything. Yeah, okay, that works. So there's filtering. And now if we do 
capital F, we can also change the format. So we can do long, short, medium, or verbose. I, when I first saw this, I thought this was the long, but it's actually, this is the short, <laughs> the short format. So let's go ahead and go from verbose, which as you can see, gives a lot more options all over here from the headers, which is way more than what I typically need at all. So let's just go to medium. Oh, actually let's go, well, this is medium. So not that bad, let's go to long. Eh, just removes the group, I guess. And then, yeah, just remove that. And then let's go to short. And then, yes, this is show. Of course, you can modify, modify how you want it to look. That's one of the things that I have in my configuration. Use uh, ProSed, for example, let's say right here. So this is the default of how it's set up. I So this is exactly the default. And I'm just going to change. I'm going to actually just remove this list and just leave com right here. And I'm going to evaluate this. Now, if I go back to ProSet and I refresh, take a look at this. It will actually just show. Oh, well, let me. Well, I'll refresh it and you'll see. See, it just shows the actual service that's running, not the entire path, which is pretty nice, depending on if you want that compact view. But let me go ahead and change it back because, yes, because this works just fine for me. Of course, if you want to change it, you can change the format however you want. And you can obviously customize. This is short, display all these things, medium, long, and then verbose has all these things. Now, if you want to look at some other stuff that ProSet, do, ProSet brings in, we can look at the file so let's go ahead and let's see dev custom I don't think of any of these besides show remote process so if you're in a remote server then or as it says right here if default directory is a remote server will it show the processes of that system if right now it's set to no but if you set to set it to true it will do it and of course most of these stuff is on Emacs 29 like the color one should be uh, Emacs 29 so yeah version Emacs 29 so before that you may not have this but hopefully you do or eventually you have it now what else uh, let's see def custom I think those were the main ones oh besides the key maps uh, let's show what we have so yes we have the key maps which is basically the basic one so just you know for moving for marking so diared delete mark and mark toggle so if you press T it does the opposite mark children mark parents yeah so filter refine yeah so sorting you have these uh, I'm not gonna go over them I just wanted to show them quickly and formatting I don't think I think these are all the ones that I showed uh, I guess uh, the last one would just be sorting so yeah let's go ahead and just show that then okay so if we press sort we can do by by any of these but if we look at s it will say interactives so s it will give me actually how do i want to sort it so let's just do time so there you go august date and if i do it again i get, if i give it a prefix control u and then oops control u s and then s again and then i press time it should do the opposite so yeah showing me oh what the heck interesting did i do something is that how it works okay i pressed s let me try it again hmm interesting is that not what it's supposed to do okay i might have to read the documentation for that one i would have thought it figure it would have put the oldest date here well, I'll look at the documentation later, but this is just a quick overview as to how to do it. I don't think I will actually be using this as an activity monitor. I think I'll actually be using the GUI because I feel a lot more comfortable using that. Of course, you know, some people might create a minor mode, uh, some packages, extensions out of this, or you might find this as a useful tool for you just to never leave Emacs, you know, another reason to never leave. But yeah, that's a quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it or any other packages that you'd like me to go over. That is it. Thanks.